purchased this table a long, long time ago, and it's been sitting on my back porch, getting wet, holding a whole bunch of other furniture that I purchased and haven't done anything with. But I wanted to redo my back porch, and I wanted to use this table. It's a solid piece of furniture, and I knew that I could make it extraordinary. I sanded down the top because it had been, like I said, wet and mildewy and just plain nasty. So I used my orbital sander and I got rid of that top layer of funk. I always have a spray bottle handy with vinegar and water and I just cleaned off the dust and debris. I used black velvet on the bottom of the table. The table had a slick finish, so you'll see that it doesn't go on totally great the first coat. But DIY paint is magic paint, and it will adhere to almost anything. So my first layer was a little bit light, and then I did about another half layer on just the spots that were showing. This wasn't a perfect finish. I wanted it to be old and rustic, because wait till you see what I did on the top. Because of all of the mold, I went ahead and I used Salvation Solution. It's our DIY primer, and I went ahead and put one coat of it. This primer has a little bit of a smell compared to our DIY products, and it's very thick. It goes on super quick and super easy. I used my DIY brush for it, and it is incredible. It works. It's a salvation solution. I only primed the top of the table, and it's best if you just let it sit overnight or at least 24 hours before you paint on it. And I thought it was great because it's white, and so it would give me a base. I was on the DIY paint page recently, and I painted this metal piece, and my husband told me that if I was gonna put that in the back porch, that I had to make it colorful. And so I used blue iris. I made my own creation of a green color using blue iris and liquid sunshine. I used marquee. I used kissing booth and old 57 as well as little black dress. This was now my inspiration piece for creating an exciting and colorful back porch. But yeah, I can't forget cherry picked. I love this color. So here is the finished piece. I went ahead and I put two coats of Big Top because it's gonna be outside, I wanted to protect it from the weather. And as you can see, it looked amazing. I also did a white wash of crinoline in the center part over the green. While I was doing that, one of my friends posted this on Marketplace. She was selling these chairs and I needed chairs because I only had the table and so I knew I had to get them. And I painted them in all these great colors as well as I painted the seat in little black dress. I love the way that it turned out. I wanted the top to have a worn weathered barn wood, been sitting out in the sun for years and had layers and layers of paint over it. And I got this technique from She Paints, and I love it. I've done it before, but in this case, I went ahead and I used white. It's a custom white that I created by mixing our whites together. Little black dress, faded burlap, weathered wood, prairie gray, skeleton key, and summer crush. And I just take a little bit of each color, each pass, on my putty knife, and then I've used the water bottle to blend it all together. This is a really fun technique. It goes super, super quick, and it's just amazing how great it looks when you're done simply by putting paint on with a putty knife. It's incredible. As you can see, 
I just take different colors every time I pass my putty knife through the table and I just mix it with the water and it goes super quick and easy. I didn't want too much orange, but the orange speaks to the copper that I used on the metal piece. I forgot to mention that. I used pennies from heaven to highlight some of the metal pieces and so I wanted the orange to kind of speak to that. Isn't it looking amazing? I just love the way that this turned out. Right here, I'm using little black dress to just outline the edge of the table. And it really just makes it pop and I think makes the piece so, so beautiful. I'm using my Paint Pixie French Round to detail the edge of this table and it makes it so easy that I didn't have to tape it off because I hadn't sealed the top yet. This is what the table looked like before it was totally dry. You can tell this is fire. Look at all of the color and all of the details and it really looks like plank wood. The bottom is black velvet and you can tell the difference between the black velvet and the little black dress. So to seal this piece, I used Cl Kills Clear. It's an outdoor sealer and it's also a primer. And I wanted this to be very durable. I would have normally used Big Top, but I didn't have enough on hand. So I went ahead and I used a zebra brush and the Kills Clear to seal the entire piece. I ended up doing two coats on the entire piece and then on the top, I actually did three coats. Visit me at chalkitupwithlisa.com to purchase these products, except for the Kills Clear. I purchased that at Home Depot. Just look at it. Which color came first? It looks like it's been painted over years and years and years and the sun had worn it and then it was just sealed to protect it. It's utterly delicious and I absolutely love it. This is what it looks like after the third coat. I went ahead and I did a light sanding in between the second and the third coat and then I slightly sanded it again at the end of the third coat and it is super, super slick and beautiful. I can't believe how glossy and delicious it looks. And here, it is put together with the chairs. I used Old 57, Blue Iris, Salty Kiss. The yellow is a mixture of cake batter and liquid sunshine. And then of course, Kissing Booth. And you can see the back, in the back there, there's the metal piece that was my inspiration. At the time of this video, we hadn't pressure washed the wall yet, and so we're going to install the metal piece behind my swing right next to the table, and it's just going to be an amazing and fun place for us. I also sealed the fabric chairs with the Kills Clear. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and connect with me. Comment below and let me know what you think about this table.